On the ground, dude. On the ground. On the ground. Down. On the ground. Guns hold. New video in a Fox 35 exclusive. Tonight, we're seeing what happened when a man claims he was wrongfully detained. And we just got this body camera video from that incident. The man called Fox 35 for help, claiming Orange County deputies wrongfully detained him while he was at work. Thanks for joining us on this Friday. I'm Luann Sorrell. And I'm Manny Martinez. Now, this happened back in October. And Fox 35's Marie Edinger has been working this story for months. Marie, you just got the video from the sheriff's office. Yeah, the sheriff's office has declined our interviews over the past couple of months, our requests for that. So having this body camera video is one way to see their perspective. Sheriff's office. On the ground, dude. Hey, Jorge, record this for my wife. Let's set the scene here. It's October 2nd. We're on a cobblestone street in a neighborhood of multi-million dollar homes in Winter Park. Demarcus Smith is on a work call in his logoed T-shirt. As he tells it, he notices a car following his company van. Hey, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm going to the van like, hold on, I'm going to get you a car. But then this happens. On the ground, yeah. Down, on, on, on the ground. ground. Smith says he was in shock. At first, he thought he was being robbed. I seen guns before I seen any arm or body. It was like this, like, get on the ground. Turns out, Demarcus Smith didn't do anything wrong. The man deputies were looking to arrest is Shamel Shamik Sanchez. He was wanted for domestic violence and worked for the same company as Smith. Very, very slender build, your exact height. According to his arrest report, Sanchez is four inches taller and 50 pounds heavier than Smith, with different facial hair and different tattoos. When they realized this was the wrong person, they let Smith go. Thank you. Yeah, it's life. That, no, that's not life. It is, unfortunately, in our business. Nah, man. Nah. Mm -hmm. to, take, to take further detail or, like, investigate a little bit more. When this happened in October, we reached out to the Orange County Sheriff's Office. They told us their felony unit is, quote, tasked with tracking down the most violent at-large suspects in our community and said it's not uncommon for deputies to detain someone suspected of a crime or who has a warrant for their arrest while their identity is verified and charges are confirmed. They said that's for the safety of not only the deputies, but of the suspect and the public. Two days after Smith was detained, the real suspect turned himself in, paid his bond, and walked out hours later. Not one time did they apologize. Here's what Smith said to deputies at the time. When y'all go away and I go away, I'm feeling f***ed up after this. I'm going back to work while these people seeing me like this. I feel f***ed up. Y'all go back and do y'all job. Y'all don't really care about nobody, how they feel in the end. I I all this Smith said he's embarrassed and can't get the image of those guns pointed at him out of his head. It was kind of like excuses and to him like, oh, it happens, um, it's life. Stuff like this happens all the time. And I'm just explaining to them like how I feel. I even at a moment had to walk away because I like broke down and cried. I asked the Orange County Sheriff's Office whether any of the deputies involved in this case might be facing any disciplinary action. The Sheriff's Office wrote back to me, quote, the inquiry into this complaint is still ongoing. Live outside the Orange County Sheriff's Office, Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News.